What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Jordan Peele's Nope in this video here again today. So a trailer, second trailer for Jordan Peele's Nope is arriving this week. Now, the guess at this point is tomorrow thursday because i actually did of course get an email stating that uh the trailer yes will be arriving sometime this week because it says it says here in the email that was received to me uh here's the new here's the new motion posters for nope and stay tuned for the new trailer debut this week it also said nope movie is only in theaters july 22nd so i guess the release date of july 22nd will go through as planned as of now and we are going to get the new trailer this week now again the the date people keep throwing around even though there wasn't one specifically attached to the email that i got is tomorrow thursday so we'll see what happens and these new character posters again these are character posters that many people i think i talked about it as well this was shown at CinemaCon, so i think that may, maybe what we should have been expect is that the footage shown tomorrow or if it comes today in this new trailer whenever it comes this week we'll also have glimpses of that footage that was shown at CinemaCon as well i know there was a tv spot that got shown at a, a basketball game i think right after i uploaded a video some people started leaving it in the comments i did see that tv spot so in that tv spot you basically get a glimpse at the ufo to, con to further confirm to people that there is alien activity going on or otherworldly activity going on i guess and then you had mostly a compilation of people just repeatedly saying nope nope you know just just the uh i would say pull pulling lines of the actual movie title here in the trailer or in the tv spot just let you know yeah people are going to say nope a few times in this movie there's no doubt in my mind that those are going to be the more comedic moments just for you to break break out in laughter i don't know how many times people saying nope left and right is going to be found hilarious to to a lot of people so we'll see how that ends up going but these character posters that were released those of you have seen them they they all look great no doubt there they all look great we all know of course they're looking up at something going off of that tv spot they have to no doubt be looking at that ufo there was some leaked behind the scene footage that came out not that that it came out again it was leaked this was of uh, something that somebody gets recorded during like a top gun screening when they went to go see top gun maverick and it was highlighting some of the stuff going on behind the scenes at one point in the in the sneak peek or in the behind the scenes you see Kalua's character knocking somebody down and then taking their horse or something like that. I'll leave a link to this stuff in the description if you're interested in watching it. But I did see some people going on about how they don't think the movie will have too much to do with social commentary this time around and how it's a little bit frustrating for them. But again, that's all stuff that for if you have read those plot leaks, that's where that's coming from. This again could be coming from someone who again watched the movie but they missed out on a lot of the social commentary messages that are still going to be identified by you. Even though I know a lot of other people came out and said it too, there might still be a message that someone when watching the movie will highlight to the masses and other people will then see, oh, that's the social commentary. It could very well much be something that's subtle. It's not as again apparent as it definitely was with Get Out and Us. And even though while apparent with Get Out and Us, there was nothing overly forceful about it. So if this one is a lot more subtle in terms of just being like scaled back, but clearly having something to say about something going on in the current climate, I'm fine with that. If somebody can identify it and think that and say, oh, that's what I think he was getting at. Unless, of course, Jordan Peele comes out and say, yeah, there's no social commentary in it. I think there might be something we we could miss if we overlook how subtle it's woven into the fabric of the story because it could just mostly just be told from this angle of this is a this is a town being terrorized by a unknown flying object unidentifiable flying object and you know everybody is running around scared they want answers and they want to know what is going on what is what is inside the ufo are aliens here are they in danger and again it could have a lot to say about how people react when they're when they're scared feeling justified in their irrational behavior out of fear in the name of thinking that they're doing the triumphant thing when really they're just being uh very cruel to maybe a lot of people around them it might have some it might very well have something to say about how people treat each other in in a crisis so in the film as as it says here in this plot synopsis residents in a lonely gulch of inland california who, residents in a lonely gulch of inland california who bear witness to an uncanny and chilling discovery this chilling discovery i guess would have to of course be aliens 
However, again, like for those of you who watch my videos, I've been told that the movie itself doesn't show too much of the aliens as much as it is showing this UFO. And we'll all see which one is true. It's not that the aliens aren't shown at all, but apparently the UFO was shown much more. I've also seen the idea, I've talked about it, that maybe that moment in the trailer that we got earlier this year where we think we see Kalua's character looking at an alien head, that's probably someone in a costume trying to scare him. It could be Kiki's character. And again, going on about the whole villain role for Kiki. The villain role that might have been planned for Kiki could have been shifted into another character due to the fact that it got, uh, I guess, released to the public. So they could have, of course, made a last minute change or something like that and gone with a different version to shoot because of that that idea of her being the villain being let out to the public or she very well could be involved with what's going on in some capacity the idea again of course that some of these people are aliens living among us and this is a part of a larger plan that's been going on and identities will be revealed along the way showing their allegiance to the things that they have been claiming to appear to be running away from but they've been collaborating with them for quite some time i can see that happening stephen young's character definitely seems to have something going on there with him as we see from a lot of the marketing stuff the, the steals if you connect certain dots with pictures and just speculate you could you could think that he seems to have arrived something happens and he tries to capitalize off it in a way because we see in the trailer how there are things that look like they're they're on sale at a at a dis, at a uh, presentation from him regarding a horse and then he's selling like this alien merchandise so there's definitely something going on there with his character but we'll see what happens later this week when the footage of the new trailer is released online and what it has to offer us and if it'll get you any more excited for the movie than you already are the movie again seems like it'll be sticking to its july 22nd release date so i know a lot of you are excited about maybe your most anticipated movie of the summer so we'll see how that goes but if you guys are excited for nope let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications. there is a video in the description i have links to social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video